The Scripps Howard Foundation honors excellence in radio in-depth coverage. The winner, Michigan Radio for the Flint water crisis. Michigan Radio refused to move on from the crisis of unsafe drinking water in Flint, Michigan, covering the story from multiple angles, political, environmental, legal, and social justice. The national spotlight on the Flint debacle had faded, but Michigan Radio recognized the crisis wasn't over and there was more to be reported and uncovered. In 2016, the station produced more than 500 radio stories and web articles about the Flint water crisis. It resulted in the governor admitting to problems with the town's drinking water. Numerous state and local officials have since been charged with felony level crimes. The fact that Michigan Radio kept on it all long after anyone else would have probably given up and gone home uh, really spoke to us as evidence of the highest aspirations of journalism. Congratulations to Michigan Radio, the winner of the 2016 Scripps Howard Award for radio in-depth coverage, the Jack R. Howard Award. And presenting the Jack R. Howard Award for radio in-depth coverage and a $10,000 check is Pam Howard, daughter of Jack Howard and trustee emeritus of the Scripps Howard Foundation. Accepting on behalf of Michigan Radio are Rebecca Williams, Zoe Clark, Vincent Duffy, and Steve Carmody. Thank you so much to the Scripps Howard Foundation for this amazing honor. This award belongs to our whole newsroom at Michigan Radio, our entire staff. We have an incredible team of people who are always supporting each other and inspiring each other to get better and think bigger. I want to mention our, my fellow members of our Flint coverage team, Steve Carmody, who's here tonight. He's been in Flint since day one before the water switch. Steve is lightning fast. He can juggle five stories at once, but he is so thoughtful and thorough. Lindsay Smith, our FOIA expert who loves digging into data and never letting go. Mark Brush, our digital media director. He's a master problem solver. He's always teaching us new and better ways to tell stories. Senior editor Sarah Hewlett, who guides us to the heart of those stories. Our leaders, Zoe Clark and Vincent Duffy, are backbones, our defenders, the people who light the way. We didn't do any of this work in a vacuum, of course, and we would not know about the Flint water crisis if it were not for the people of Flint, people who went to public meetings with jugs of brown water, mothers who never stopped fighting for answers to what was happening to their children. This story is not over. And to the people of Flint, this honor belongs to you. We see you, we hear you. We will continue to tell your story. Thank you.